subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. Hello everyone. Today on Lady Mary Bath, I am taking you along as I make deliveries of our Houston resale guide and map to our participating stores. The first stop is the Antique Gallery of Houston, located in Spring, Texas, one of the largest antique malls in the state of Texas with 225 dealers, over 85,000 square feet of treasures. Join me. The Antique Gallery of Houston is on the map and also in the store locator. Make sure to grab one of these when you're visiting one of the antique consignment and thrift stores in Houston. And you can follow me on social media. We will eventually release a digital version and you can order one by mail. Can't wait to bring these inside for them to hand out to customers. And there is the Antique Gallery of Houston on the map. I encourage you to step outside of your zip code and try some new places maybe you didn't know about before. And this is one you'll want to visit often. They have events throughout the year, including appraisals and crystal repair and some great sales. There's always something fun to discover and I find some hidden gems. It's a warm welcome with the colors of our resale guide and those chairs and pillows and a fantastic piece of furniture. This buffet has been marked down. The burled wood, an inlay. This is a piece that you could place in your entryway, dining room, living, and some great storage as well. Stacks of plates would fit nicely there and napkins in the drawers. And you could even use that open area for decanters, it could be for your barware. And now we're stepping into one of the two side rooms, the north and south. And this is a way that they showcase some of the best of the best in the shop for a cohesive look. Things that you might otherwise have missed when you're shopping, and they do change this out often. And a classic look with the blue and white chinoiserie and a silk arrangement. And blue and white goes with just about every taste and style. And so many other great pieces, including this from a well-known glass manufacturer. I'll tell you more about the history. This vintage glass cornucopia is a ruby beauty from the Duncan and Miller Glass Company. They originated in 1893 in Washington, Pennsylvania. By 1900, they changed their name to Duncan and Miller when Mr. John Ernest Miller became a major shareholder. He was a chief designer. Priced at $98, this is great for a Thanksgiving centerpiece with fruit, fresh florals, even some maybe dried arrangements. This would be a great addition to your table. Some brass bookends, these swordfish I have seen before. Those are priced at $65. A trio of Florentine nesting tables, priced at $295. A very practical item to have on hand for an end table. You never know when you need some extra space. And for tea time, that would be ideal. Another beautiful server. And a mantle clock that definitely gets my attention. This is from about 1920, Imperial, made in Italy with that porcelain dial. The movement is made in Germany by Franz Hamle, a company known for quality and precision based in Baden-Württemberg, the Swabian Alps. A pair of candelabras. These would be wonderful on an entry table or a buffet. Definitely statement pieces. These are absolutely beautiful and they go well with that mantle clock. Here's the Houston resale guide with a great background, perfect colors. I encourage you to stop by for your free copy. 
and a choo-choo train that has been handmade of teak wood. Very interesting piece, priced at $1,208. That's something I have not seen here before. And for the collector, it might be just what you're looking for. I understand many of you would like to see more furniture. During the launch, I met with many viewers who shared their ideas and enjoy the channel, but maybe some more furniture is in order. I'm going to share some of that with you today. In the first of many stops as we visit Houston area stores to deliver the resale guides. Stay tuned over the next couple of weeks and we'll visit even more locations. If you have tall ceilings, this barley twist would be a great addition to your library or living room. Hand carving, priced at $2,948. It is a bookcase, but I can see that you could also feature this with some of your favorite dishes and collections. The stained glass on this furniture piece is quite unique. Some great colors. And this looks to be an Henri de, most likely made in France, priced at 1388 That's a great find. And I will tell you more about my favorite furniture style. Beautiful hand carving, priced at $1,495 for the marble top dresser. My favorite barley twist. This has its origins in the 1600s in England and France. The art of that turned leg or decorative element. And this is a really nice piece, a dresser. And if you look at the price, it's certainly more affordable than anything you can buy in a furniture store today. And it has a bit of history. It was named after the barley sugar twist at that time. This looks to be French. I have a similar piece in Germany and it doesn't have the barley twist, but the marble top and the design is very similar. Such detail in this piece. It definitely reminds me of what we find at the flea markets here in Germany, living on the French border. And these have pull out drawers, which most likely means that it was for a bedroom. We have similar pieces at our home here in Germany that are for linens because there are not built-in closets. There are many aisles and booths to discover. It is such fun. You could spend the whole day. They even have a cafe. I'll take you to some of my favorite booths and discover a classic that you've seen, I'm sure in many different colors. And this is one that would go with so many holidays. I always say that red is probably the most universal color for seasons and celebrations. Mason's Vista, a very well-known ironstone pattern. And the beautiful shade of blue. I think you can also mix the transferwear colors. This is a sugar bowl. I could almost see this as an individual dessert. You'll see that castle depicted there. And the beautiful back stamp with the crown, Johnson Brothers. It's a transferware dream. Johnson Brothers started making Old Britain castles in 1930. Each piece depicts a castle and they have about 45 in their collection. This is the Dudley Castle that is from 1792 and probably from an original copper engraving. Isn't that a fun piece? And they also made it in the pink, which looks like red transferware, very much inspired by chinoiserie. A pattern that you will definitely recognize that was made by more manufacturers than any other pattern that I can think of. And it has quite an interesting history that we've covered on the channel. Priced at $49 for the chop plate, a great serving piece. Blue Willow is a timeless pattern. It was created in 1780 by Thomas Turner, a potter, and Thomas Minton, an engraver. And this was made to replicate the Chinese imports at that time that were so popular. I had a question today on our Facebook group page, Lady Mary Beth's Table, if this is still a stylish pattern, something that's current. The answer is absolutely yes. It is still made today by many companies. This is made by Churchill. 
Lots of great pieces that can be used or displayed. And that classic blue and white. Now let's take a look at stained glass lamps. This one has a beautiful shape to it. I love the colors. A Tiffany style price at 269 for a floor lamp. That is reasonable. And if you price lamps even at a box store for the shade and the lamp, you would probably spend about 150 and you would get nothing of quality. Definitely consider an antique mall when you're looking to furnish or upgrade your home furnishings. That popular pattern, the blue onion, Sibibe Mustang. and the blue Danube. So many great looks, and we are continuing that cool blue theme with Flow Blue. The table is set for tea time. These teacups and saucers have a great history we've talked about in the past. And these are true antiques from the Victorian era. There were three different periods of Flow Blue that we've talked about extensively. And that back stamp also being flow blue is a bit hard to read. Here's a closer look at that. And more to discover in this booth. They arrange things so beautifully. It's a pleasure to shop in this antique mall. And you get some great ideas too of how to repurpose items and use them in different ways. These grapes could add some interest, especially around the fall. And the forest green. These are some that I featured before on the channel, and I just adore these. I can see these for parfaits. And a beautiful linen. This could be a shelf liner. Or you could use it as a dresser scarf. Priced at $12.95. And Belique for $16.95. Where can you get Belique for under $20 with that beautiful bag stamp? And you can certainly research this online and find the years that that was made. Linens. A wash bin full of them. I like to use linens as packaging. Even if you have a champagne bottle of wine, you could certainly wrap it in this for $7.95. And that's cheaper than buying tissue and a bag. And it's something lasting. Copper, as you can see, looks great with the blue and white. It pairs nicely with transferware and chinoiserie. This jeweled Moroccan teapot is $50. They've got a unique selection of kitchen essentials with these canisters, even an angel for Christmas, and a planter. Copper molds originated in Europe in the 1700s. They were used for pudding. Growing up, we had some that my mother used for salmon molds. And of course, you can use them for jello as well. And the ones we have today are mostly aluminum that are copper colored. When I'm out antique shopping, I'm often looking for those with a ring. These are perfect to use as an ice ring for your punch bowl. You simply fill it with the same ingredients as your punch, perhaps some decorative fruits, and it melts and does not change the flavor of your punch so much that we see as we're walking down the aisles. I wanted to point out one of the booths that always has some great items, including fantastic linens. Handkerchiefs are coming back in style. We've got a nice selection of teapots. Their linens are beautifully presented. And again, this makes for great packaging. And think about a silver tray. If you're gifting that, you could certainly place one of these crochet doilies for $4. And this 50 by 56 cloth is $18. It's vintage and has a pansy motif in the classic blue and white. And that is certainly a quality linen. For $5, this machine made lace would certainly wrap up something wonderful. Lots of great dishes here. And of course, more chinoiserie. Transfer wear and flow blue. And now we are on to another area where I'm showing you some mid century, a very prolific design in kitchen essentials that you may have seen before, and I'll tell you more about the history and the years it was made. 
a nostalgic collection. Between 1970 and 1987, Sears and Roebuck designed this collection, made in Japan, for kitchen accessories. This is quite an extensive collection. I've never seen so many merry mushrooms in one place. And this canister is priced at 38. A nod to the space age in the mid-century barware, Atomic Starburst was designed by Helen Conroy, priced at $265 for a set of eight. One of my favorite affordable collections, Trinket Boxes. These are fantastic. Trinket boxes have been popular for centuries. I have a collection, many of which I acquired at the Charity Guild Shop, including this spode here in the center. I don't have this Wedgwood. I might bring that home today. And a transferware trinket box, something I've not quite seen in the blue and white. And these are well-priced, $15 to $20. And for giving a small piece of jewelry as a gift, this would make great packaging. Let's take a closer look at these beautiful trinket boxes. This is well priced at $18. It has a double gold band, the lid and the base, and that beautiful spode back stamp. This is my favorite out of all the trinket boxes that I have in my collection. And the Wedgwood is very well priced at $20. They're often referred to as pill boxes. You could use them for just about anything small. And of course, with that Wedgwood, you want to look for that integrated back stamp in the Jasperware. And from Adams, that blue and white, absolutely love it. There is such detail around the base as well. And then we turn it over for that crown back stamp. It is English Ironstone. This is a highly collectible pattern, Old Country Roses from Royal Albert, well priced at $20. It has an interesting shape, lots of detail, and that beautiful back stamp. I found a hidden gem in this same cabinet for $10, five demi toss spoons. That's something I've been wanting to take to our home in Germany. They looked a bit more like sterling. I turned them over and I found the back stamp, sterling silver. $2 a piece. That's an incredible deal. Here's a closer look at the spoons. Aren't they fantastic? You could tell by the patina that they are not silver plate. Usually it has an iridescent quality. And here is that hallmark, sterling. What a find. I got lucky with those spoons. And the Florentine trays, I think, are fantastic to display, to use. And you may remember a recent visit to the Franklin Antique Mall in Tennessee, where I found the most beautiful of all Florentine trays with pink accents that I brought home for my friend Mark. There were several people interested. And this is definitely a German tradition. And I'll tell you some about the uses, the history. And these are not meant to just be pretty definitely serves a purpose and is found in many cellars throughout Germany and we have a nice collection in our home as well. I have a nice collection of salt glazed crocs known as Salzgut in Germany where they originate. You find these in many households for storing sauerkraut and many other items in their cellars. This is well priced at $62. I would use it as a planter or perhaps even as a centerpiece with florals. They've repurposed a baby crib for linens, some wonderful silver plate pieces, and more of those Florentine trays. These are round, a nice variety, priced at $49 and under. It's a very fair price. These are rather lightweight and easy to use. Great for entertaining. Vintage glass. Just love all of these colors. And of course, you know I love pictures. Those are practical and pretty. And I say picture perfect. This blue one is priced at $23, has an ice lip guard there. And I would never go pay retail when you can find something this pretty with an interesting craftsmanship and history. The pink, also with an ice lip guard, has an interesting shape. I like that fluted design. Priced at $45, it is depression glass. And of course, my favorite crystal brand, the very popular stem pattern. 
I always stop by this booth. They have some beautiful Waterford crystal, including Lismore goblets. This is the number one pattern across all tabletop for stemware. Designed in 1952 by Czech designer Miroslav Havel for Waterford crystal, and that saved the company. These are fantastic. They're priced at 110, and the price here for all six is 180. Let's take a closer look. 180, they're basically $30 a piece. You're definitely getting a deal. And in this case, I find some great items, including the classic Lismore pattern in a round biscuit barrel, and another pattern I'll tell you more about that has some interesting history with Waterford, priced at 110, and there's that acid etched stamp. Great price on this Waterford Crystal Hibernia Biscuit Barrel. The Hibernia pattern is historic, one you see in some of the original pieces that the company made in the 1700s. Many uses for this biscuit barrel, priced at 110, I would fill that with wrapped candies, breadsticks, a floral arrangement, cotton balls, candy canes for Christmas, anything goes with a biscuit barrel. Irresistible candle holders. I'll tell you more about my connection to this pair, priced at 120. A perfect pair of candle holders. This is also an older Waterford crystal pattern priced at 120. They made this in two different designs, the same shape. And before I worked for Waterford crystal, I actually sold Waterford when I worked on the base in Heidelberg, Germany, for just a semester while I was in college. And I did purchase these for my in-laws 25th silver anniversary. And these are very special. A regal combination of colors with the blue and gold. That reminds me not only of my logo, but the Houston Resale Guide and Map. They brought in some great items to create a living room look here with the vintage hand-painted lamp with crystal prisms. And it is priced at 325 These sweet and petite chairs are perfect with the Italian inlaid table. There's always something wonderful to discover. And as you've seen, I found some deals today and I encourage you to pop over to the Antique Gallery. It's always a fun visit to the Antique Gallery of Houston. And I was glad to find two more trinket boxes from my collection and some sterling silver spoons. That was a hidden gem. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Beth. Elevate your everyday with antique shopping.